Him though. I kind of like rotate who I watch, right? Like, I, uh, like I used to watch tons of Northern Lion, Rockley Smile. All right, God, who else? Uh, Manga Minx back in, like, back then. And I don't, I don't think there's even a specific reason why I stopped watching them. It's not like, eh, I don't like them anymore. I just, I don't know, I just kind of stopped. Like, I can't really, I don't really know why. Because my current rotation is pretty much, uh, well, she's goes by GG Gab now. Uh, John Wolf, who used to be totally, cr or um, harshly critical. And Mr. Craven, who's just Mr. Craven. Those are my, my main channels I watch now. Well, self-deprecating, like, that's just kind of where you make fun of yourself. But I feel like there's also that thing where you say something negative about yourself and kind of want, like, a compliment. Like, you want somebody to go, oh, no, 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 you're you're a handsome person. Or, you know, whatever. There's a specific word or phrase for that. I don't remember what it is. Yes, get blowed up. And this area is large. And in charge. Uh, I don't really need that food. I'll save it just in case. Even though I don't think that's going to be a problem. Ah, here's the tyrant's hold that he's talking about. Probably head back and turn those quests in at some point. Just to get the rewards. Even though money at this point, not that not overly useful to me. I'm sure it will be at some point. Yeah, cat quest is a cool like art style. Like I say, it looks pretty fun. Honestly, one game I've been kicking around playing for the stream is uh, called uh, what it re, re I can't I can never pronounce the name it's like Ricator or Ricator uh, uh, item shops tale or something like that it's kind of like I guess and I haven't played Stardew Valley yet but it's how I think Stardew Valley works sort of where instead of having a farm and like I know at Stardew Valley you have, you have a farm but you can go like dungeon fighting and whatnot but in this you have an item shop and you can go into dungeons and fight and kill stuff and get items and then sell those items in your shop like i did i'd been looking at that one like that seems like that'd be fun i mean it's kind of an older game now at least by today's standards oh shit a lot of shit back there. Great time to stand back and throw grenades. Level 37. Getting higher and higher. Ah, oh, shit. Right as I hit the thing. Get out. wreck a -tier, yeah. Oh, you streamed that, actually? Jalhanar? That's pretty cool. I I had been thinking about, like, this this stream, not this session, but, like, when I was thinking of the next game to stream after Wolf Among Us, thus, I was looking at that. I had a few other... What was the other thing I was looking at? There was something... Was another short game I was looking at. I'm totally spacing on what it was now. Oh, Cat Quest. Wait, what? Oh, Cat Quest first. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe I'll do Cat Quest. In the back. 
Should have charged faster. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and go into the Tyrant's Hold. This optional dungeon. Maybe we won't get the home. Well, let's see what level the enemies are. Like, if it's crazy high. 34. We're not inside yet, but. Couldn't tell if that one big one was still alive or not. Because the damn bridge in the way. Stardew, I've wanted like I feel like Stardew is a valid or Stardew is a game that I would definitely like. But the problem is, I mean, part of the problem is like the finding a starting a starting and stopping point, right? Well, a stopping point anyway. I guess you just kind of stop whenever you feel like it, because I know that game can go on a really long time. Nice. Got them all. Uh, you thought being on the other side of the narrow bridge was going to work out for them. God damn it. How maybe that's the reason I turn the buff off sometimes. It's right close to uh, the dragon fire ability. I can hit up to five on the keyboard consistently, like with no problem. Once you get past five into like six, seven, eight, that's when I start fat fingering stuff. Enough. Alright, what asshole's casting over there? Throw some grenades and let it sort of out. Oh, come on. Die! I feel like I hit him with like a million things. Of course he could have been like a behind a bunch of others. Did I have it turned off again? Damn it. I thought I turned it on. Because I knew I turned it off once when I tried to hit the flame thing. Cleared it out without even being able to see them. But how long, you see, the story is the ending point kind of in, uh, yeah. I think that was our last dynamite that we have. Yep, it was. Uh, Relic Savage. Savage! Yeah, I could probably ending point with the story, but even how long would that be? And again, you don't have to play it to completion. I've even said I might not even play this through to the end of the campaign. That's the, I mean, that's currently what I'm aiming for. But if it starts getting a bit too repetitive, then I might be like, eh, okay, we'll put this down. I mean, I always could come back to it later, but. Yes, come on. A nice, tight little rose. It's great. Just like you were trained. If you were even trained. Wow. There's a lot of stuff to shove into a sarcophagus. Like, why have we run out of room for the corpse? Yeah, just throw it in the yard. It's fine. It won't rise up. Become a zombie or anything. Yeah, I mean, I doubt I would be able to do Stardew Valley, like, quickly at first, because... Wait a minute. Damn it! There's another... There's a shrine down there. How did I miss that? I mean, <clears throat> how did you guys miss that shrine down there? Y'all are bad at this. 
What's up with that? Rest it here. That sounds very, very plausible. I think if I go up, go down and around. 2010. Oh, wow. I think I did a list try on that. I think. But it definitely seems like my type of game. Like, I like the management angle. And then <clears throat> throwing in the, like, the actual dungeon crawling and going to get items, I think is pretty cool, too. I like the idea of, like, going down there instead of just using all the items and selling them to a random shopkeep. You are the random shopkeep. But it's supposed to be pretty darn good. It's got really good reviews. I think it was sitting over 80 when I looked. Oh yeah, we didn't even come over here. Oh, you almost live long enough for my invulnerability to wear out. Almost. But yeah, the whole retaliation thing makes me think of uh, going Iron Golem with with the uh, Necromancer and Diablo 2. Man, Iron Golem was so broken. Like, the the build back in the day was uh, was to go with Blood Golem and Iron Golem. Or, um, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. Did I say Iron Golem? Blood Golem and Iron Maiden. And Resurrection. Like, resurrecting enemies. I build was crazy powerful because remember what I used to do was I I realized I have a devotion point. I'm not gonna spend it time down with my story, um, but uh, what I would do was join a game, like try to find a game that had full like I think seven people was the max, seven or eight people, and every time you of course the more people in the game the more powerful the enemies were, but the more experience you got. But I didn't <laughs> I didn't need a group because that build was so powerful. So I would just look for those games with like seven to eight people and join and just go solo. Because it would be a lot more experience for me and I could just kill the same same mobs. As an overall 96%. That's crazy. I did not do a... Let's try a... Le less a, less a whatever that game is. Huh, weird. I mean, it doesn't seem that RPG, Japanese RPG -y to me. I mean, I don't like Japanese RPGs typically either. Though I will say I really want to play Final Fantasy XV. Like, I really want to play that pretty badly. If only it would come to PC. I mean, that's not even what's, that's honestly not even what's stopping me. It's not even like that it's not on PC. It's helping. Or wait, is it on PC? I honestly don't even remember now. That's I'm not completely ready. drawn a blank. I don't... I don't think it is. Anyway, uh, it's just how freaking long it would be. I'll, I'll admit, like, I have an aversion to do, let's playing longer games now. Primarily because I know people don't really stick around for them. Like, pe typically the way it works, and this is, like, true for pretty much every channel I've seen, pretty much. There's like, some exceptions. But typically, when you've got a series, a Let's Play series for a game, the first one will get X amount of views, right? And then the second one will get, depending on, like, if people liked it and whatnot, the next one will get maybe, like, half again as much or, you know, 70-ish percent if, like, a lot of people really liked it. And then the third video will get, yet again, like, another half again uh, or, you know, Maybe not as much of a drop off. Maybe like twenty ish percent. I don't know. I have to look at the numbers. But anyway, long story short is that like you tend to have a a pretty steep drop off every video until about video ten. What man? You guys are tearing up that wall. Y'all are not getting that wall any quarter. There is a ton of enemies like right here. Skills not ready. Yep. I have run it the wrong way. Yep. I was thinking about running out. And I didn't. I should have ran out. 
Because there's a ton of, like, enemies right there. And they're, like, well, they're only three levels higher than me. 15 is on PS4 right now, but there's a Steam version coming in early 2018. Uh, I might do that then. Wait, what? Where the fuck am I? Oh, that's right. I went into... Oh, okay. God damn it. It was, like, the worst place for one. I don't even... Oh, that's right. I put the portal there because I got a bunch of loot. Gotcha. But anyway, so going back on the long series thing, like at around 10, I'd say, video 10, that's when you have, like, you kind of figure out how many people are going to watch most of the series through, right? Like the numbers drop still probably, but for the most part, it stays the same. And like, just kind of from a mental perspective, it's kind of a bummer to see, like, you're working on this series for so long and like 30 people are watching it. So, like, that, that is kind of a, a pisser. So that's part of the reason. And the other part, too, is because I'm still trying to grow the channel, which, I mean, I don't know if that will ever stop, right? You're always, you're always trying to grow, grow things to catch my drift. But uh, you don't really get new people when you upload The Witcher Part 50. See what I mean? Oh, we need to go up. That's right. So that's why I, 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 I like... Around, like, 20 hours, I think, is about the most where I feel like, oh, this is this is not too bad. Like, I realize I'll lose a decent amount of folks, but that's fine because, one, I just want to play the game, and two, like, I know I'm not locked into that game for a long time. But with Final Fantasy 15, I feel like that's a game where there's just so much to do. And I would actually want to do it, right? Because, you know, I want to play the game and have fun with it. And it would end up eating a ton of time. Oh, is it on Steam right now? Well, I mean, I realize it's not, like, on Steam. Like, you can't buy it. But, I mean, you can wishlist it. I'll definitely be wishlisting that. And, again, I say that as somebody who doesn't really into the whole Final Fantasy. I mean, the last Final Fantasy I played and beat was... Uh, what was the last one? on Whatever the last one on Super Nintendo was. That's the last one I've actually beat. There's going to be a shitload of enemies down there, isn't there? Oh, no, they, they went back. All right, so let's try clearing out some of these weaker enemies first. Again, I do like fighting these enemies that are higher level. Yeah, we might clear some of these out. Not ready. Oh, no, he, uh, he still came back the very next day. Ha! Later, losers! All right, I'm going to wait for my this to cool down. I at least want to get the, the entrance cleared out. There's so much stuff there that's aggroing. Yeah. No, well, to be fair, I did play a little bit of 7 on the PlayStation 2. Like, I like I bought it to try it out. But I didn't get par, far past the intro, like the factory setting. Ah, oh, shit. That skill's not ready. Holy shit. Hmm. I'm going to have to, like, run them. Like, if I could take these guys and actually have a little bit of room, I'd be fine. But there's, like, no room. I mean, I could always come back, to. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to try going uh, in and, like, around that corner to at least pull them away. Because if I can at least kill, like, some of the archers and stuff and get some room to kite, I think I'd be doing a lot better. Oh, no, this time they did not get too set yet. I want to get back. I just want to grab the stuff real fast. Uh, all right, we'll wait. I want, to, I want to check something while we wait on that. Classic, what's this? Check to enable classic eight RPG targeting with target lock. I don't even know what that means. Uh, lock map rotation. I thought I did that. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely want that. I don't like, I hate mini maps that, ch that change. It's not as bad in this game, but, or in this type of game, but. Wow, you played, Tally, you played a JRPG? I thought like, I thought you would really hate JRPGs. I didn't think that would be your bag. Yeah, I don't have it set up uh, 
Ivoxiva. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name at least close to being correct. Uh, I've got to at some point sit down and figure out how I can allow links and stuff. I haven't looked at like bots and all that stuff on how to do that yet. I can't do that. All right, use a potion immediately. Come in here. Do that yet. Oh my god, kill the one for God's sake. These goddamn archers. That skill's not ready. There we get the two big melee guys out. Those are the big pains in the ass. Boosh! Here comes the boom, ready or not. How you like me now? This guy's just blowing up those boxes. Doing a good job. Keep it up. All right. So we got her all cleared out here. But yeah, that's that's why I tend to to, to get away from longer games. But I'm I'm always like even a, a thing that I've been doing recently, just again, kind of mentally, is like going back and forth on like, okay, like what games are, are popular right now? What games are coming up? Like what games could I kind of get ahead of? Blah 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 blah. And just saying, you know what? And but going between that and saying, oh, fuck it. Just play whatever you want to play. I go back and forth on that a lot. Because there's a lot of games that I want to play or do Let's Plays for that I know, like, very few people will watch. Well, I won't say no. I'll say I don't think many people will watch. Is that a trap? That looks very trappy. That looks very trappy. Huh? Huh? Okay. Ah, it is. It's just slow. Gotcha. Cool. See my keen eye. But yeah, I just know there's a lot of, of uh, stuff that I'd like to let's play that people won't watch. Or that at least won't won't uh, like draw folks in. Like the Reketeer thing. Like, nobody's looking for Reketeer, whatever you call it videos right now. I think I just flamed that wall pretty hard. I love just sitting there tanking them while my invulnerability is up. That's just fun. As they fruitlessly attack you. That's how fucking Paladin's got the feel in vanilla WoW broken ass sons of bitches people will watch cat quest no they will not they totally won't but again you know what a lot of times i'm completely surprised like the um like first of all like not today's a bad example well actually today's not a bad example but i thought ah, you know what i'm gonna stream grim dawn not many people are gonna watch it but that's okay like we'll have fun with it it feels like it could be a, a fun stream game etc etc but like we've had like for for you know for me, for my channel or at least or for my stream channel whatever you call it, uh, it's actually had pretty good like uh, like views. Like I think probably the worst day was uh, this Tuesday. Like hardly anybody was watching then. But like one day we had like 19 people, which I was like, how are these people finding me? Like who's looking for Grim Dawn stuff? Which I mean not to say the the game's bad or anything. Obviously I like the game. But it was just surprising to me. Uh, even and then if you look on YouTube, my Grim Dawn the first video has. Oh, can these spikes? Oh, come on! It looks like you have to go like to the middle. Come on! Oh, come on now! The spikes don't hurt the enemies. That's no fun. But yeah, my uh, Grim Dawn the first one has like 200 views or something like 250. Which, again, for, for my channel is actually pretty good. And, and definitely, again, much better than I was thinking. Oh, that's a good point, uh, Vox Ivana. I probably pronounce your name different every time. Uh, but that's a good point. I didn't think about that. The uh, DLC coming out has probably helped. That is a very good point. And I actually didn't even realize there was a new DLC coming when I decided to play it. I was just kind of like, you know what? This seems like a good... I thought it was a safe choice. Just because, one, it's a, it's a game that's easy to talk 
while I, like easy to talk and relatively easy to read the chat while I'm playing. And two, I thought, well, if we play it for a stream or two and it's not clicking, it's not that fun. People aren't watching it. I'm not, a, you know, not liking it that much. I can easily stop in the middle of it and you know move on to something else or whatever. But luckily, uh, I both enjoyed it and folks seem to be liking it. Oh, ooh, that guy's really hankering. Oh shit! All right, stop just standing there. Oh, champion, you are the champion. That was a horrible throw, but because it's a grenade, who cares about accuracy? Garg. Yeah, the first stream had like 19-ish people. Yeah, that was a, I was really shocked. Shocked, I say, by how many folks uh, were here for the first stream. That was cool. Oh, no. That's the bad kind of ranged. Because, yeah, like, for example, like Divinity Original Sin. People have been asking me about that one. Well, one person. And I was like, man, I really want to play that. Like, I really do. Like, I've heard really good things about it. Because the second one's out now. But obviously, I'd have to play the first one first. Because, one, I'm just really bad about that. And, two, it's supposed to also just be really good. And I'm glad to see that that company has found success. Because they've been making those, like, RPGs and other things of that, that universe. Like, the Divine Divinity stuff. I think that's the same developers. And I'm glad to see that they, they made a game that really took off. That's always nice to see. Because that was actually one of the few times that I actually uh, like spoke directly with the developer, like on Skype even, uh, was for a Let's Try I did for Divinity Original, or no, Dragon Commander, Divinity or Dragon Commander. And uh, like it was, I mean, you could play it single player, but we played like multiplayer. And he like chatted with me during the, the session. So that was really cool. That's the only time I've ever done that. Yeah, like how I completely missed with that dragon fire. Despite the large range, good job. Yeah, shoot at that wall. I looked on Reddit, they said uh, permit and username will, with most bots will allow, okay. I just got to get a bot. I know Nightbot is a big one. Moobot is another one. Oh, shit. But I, what, curi what I'm curious about, though, is, like, the underlying, like, how is it doing it, right? Like, because the bot can't do anything that you can normally do via Twitch, right? I would not think. But even though I guess, I think technically the chat is just IRC, like it's just reading it from like a RC channel, because I, I I think you can actually join Twitch chats with a Twitch or I'm sorry a IRC client. Buff yourself, God bloody hell, bloody hell, mate! You think I would notice like the giant orb being missing? But you'd be you'd be mistaken. What a fool to think I would miss something incredibly obvious. Ooh, more of that devil touched ammo. Is the devil touching your ammo? It's more likely than you think. Is there an enemy in here? No. Just some bones and an ornate hat. Larian Studios, yeah. I think they've been around for a while. But yeah, it's good to see them like find uh, a big success with that game. They seem like cool folks. You know what would be the worst, though, if I load up Divinity and, like, I hate it? Because that happened with Baldur's Gate. Like, when Baldur's Gate was, like, the hot thing and people were playing it and loving it, and I was like, oh, I've got to play this. I love D&D &D and... 
Like, this seems so cool and everybody's loving it. I did not like it at all. I did not like Baldur's Gate. Like, I... I played a couple hours in, and I just couldn't take it anymore. I just, I hated it that much. And that's fairly rare, like, outside of console games. Oh, shit, big guy's coming on in here. I'm going to separate him from his buddies. That skill's not ready. Uh, his little, his other uh, friend got here a little late. And that's... A nice benefit of having, like, one enemy amongst a bunch that are really fast. Makes them really easy to separate them. Thanks, Dark Souls, for helping me realize stuff like that. I know most people don't really care about this sort of thing, but I will say this. Like, if you... Oh, God. Oh, God. That's There's more in there than I thought. Guys, still alive. Damn it. I could rotate the camera. Oops, easy. Easy. All right, come on. Uh, oh, man, my middle mouse button is so bad. Screw it. Nope. What am I doing? I can't do that yet. Please tell me they're dead. Thank you. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, most people don't probably don't care, but like. I really feel like if you want to, like, just get better at games, Dark Souls is really good about teaching. Because, like, a lot of games are just, like, they, they tend to be so easy, you just don't really pay attention to stuff. You just kind of get through it. You don't have to worry about it, because you're probably not going to die. And if you do die, it's not a big deal. But, uh, yeah, I really felt like Dark Souls helped me fix a lot of the issues. Like, button mashing, for example. Like, before, like, in a game, you know, it's, oh, I got to attack. Like, a game like Batman or something. You would just, I just, I need to attack. Mash, 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 mash. Until I need to counter. And then I can just mash counter. But Dark Souls, I mean, I still do mash some things. Dodging in particular. I never really trust the game to dodge properly. Uh, so I do tend to mash it a little bit more than usual. I'm trying to save my pots since we're about to go back to town anyway. I will make the portal back here. But yeah, Dark Souls helped me break that. And it's definitely helped me get better at certain games. Like, again, specifically Batman. I feel like uh, I played Arkham... Or not uh, Arkham City, but... Uh, what's the one? The first one? What was... I think it was... What was the first Batman game called? I don't even know. You can buy stream viewers? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's been a thing for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, there's, uh, you can buy, like, hundreds, if not thousands, of, of viewers. Now, obviously, if Twitch finds out, you're in deep shit. And I would definitely not ever do that, just to be clear. But, yeah, it's a um, pretty shitty thing to do. But, yeah, people will do that to kind of get ahead. To make, like you say, make partner... The other thing about that, too, is the way Twitch is set up now, it's kind of a kind of a rich get richer type of thing. Because if you click on any kind of game, like if you're looking for a specific game stream, it's going to sort with the most viewed people at the top. So you're probably going to click on those people that are more viewed. So if you pay for all these bots to get you pushed up in the slots, you theoretically will get more real viewers that way. Again, not to justify doing it, obviously, but that's that's one of the reasons people do it. And, uh, you know, some people do it for ego, I'm sure. I've heard some people allegedly uh, who, who do that that are supposed to be fairly big. I won't name any names because, well, I'll parse it because I don't remember. 24 lightning damage is nice. For sure. It's got worse armor, not by much. You lose the 2% defensive. Eh, I, we'll go ahead and keep the way it's set. I still don't quite understand how vitality damage works. So is, I don't know if vitality damage is like elemental damage. So like you do fire damage or lightning damage or vitality damage. I, I don't quite know how that works. Uh, rare heavy boots. Uh, fire damage, burn damage, physique. 87 burn. Man, this, the game is really trying hard to get me to go with that uh, fire. I went in and put a point in physique. 
We're only going to do physique for a little while. Because I think we need to start working on that. Arkham... No, it was before Arkham City. Was it Arkham... Yeah, it was just Arkham Asylum. That's it. Arkham Asylum. I knew it took place there, but I was like, I don't think that's the name. But it is. Uh, physique cunning. Ooh, a blue hat. Blood Reaper's Cowl. Ooh, it sounds nice. 38 cunning. 132 to 204 bleeding retaliation over three seconds. See, that's the thing. Well, okay, I was going to say I don't quite understand why this is a blue item because the stats seem pretty weak, but it is part of a set. So I guess that helps with that. While that's cool, I don't think I'm going to use that. Physique offensive. I'm also wondering if there's not a point that I should start looking at the vendors more often and buying stuff from them. 20% lightning damage on, on uh, glove. No, that's a belt. We'd lose 12 cunning and 5% cunning. How much cunning would we lose? That's like 30 cunning. That's a pretty big hit. I'm just looking at something real quick. Lightning modifier, 227%. I do like that 20% lightning, though. Let's go with it. Screw it. We'll try it. I try not to worry too much about these little changes to gear, because I know that in the long term, it doesn't really probably matter too much unless you just totally just randomly put random gear on like 20 different 20 cunning difference isn't gonna make make or break this has got a lot of physique which i definitely like 24 cunning which i like a lot of spirits uh yeah i definitely like these these shoulders those are nice shoulders we got a lot of physique from that these shoulders make me look jacked. They must be really wide shoulders. Very masculine soul shoulders. May your first child be a masculine child. All right, before we forget, let's go take the stone out of that. Just because. There's really no negative to doing that, I don't feel like. I mean, yeah, it costs money. And you don't get to sell the item. But I feel like that's a fairly... It's like a 1,000. And I have 134k. So that's pretty irrelevant. Uh, I'll go ahead and just put it back into the shoulders just because. Goodbye for now. Come see what's left. All right, let's sell. I'll give you a good price of what I've got left. Did I look at this? Eh. 4% all damage is nice, but the other damages were less than ideal. We don't have any dynamite to salvage. It's very interesting that you have to use dynamite to salvage. I think that's a pretty... I, I don't know if I want to say good idea, because it might be one of those things that once you really get into the item grind, you might hate it. But on the surface, it seems like an interesting idea. Uh, physique and cunning. We get cold damage, physique, health regen. Oh, this necklace sucks. Or this one I'm wearing blows. Cold damage, which is worthless to me. 2% physique, which is okay. But we'll get more from this... Amulet, I bet. Right? 2% of 306? Yeah, no, we definitely get more. And we get cunning. The health regen is irrelevant. Oh, I bet the current necklace is what I have that is hurting them sometimes when they hit me. That's right. That's the reason I was wearing that. Uh, but I like this better. I always miss, like, the one-slot items. Let me try to catch up on chat. Oh, God. The, uh, oh, follow me and I'll follow you people on. Yeah, that, that infects both. I haven't run into it on Twitch as much, but on YouTube for sure. 
I need to just use these because I never will think to use these like one time potions. I'll keep an eye on this. Am I still only uh see anything you like? Oh, we're respected now. You can buy a bunch of recipes. How much are these? Uh, 9,200. Ooh, yeah, these are a little pricey. Let's see what we can get. A talisman. 3% chance of 36 to 55 physical. 12% elemental damage. Granted skills. Mutilate. Mutilate your target with three quick attacks. That's a melee. Oh, yeah, we don't want that. Uh, volley. I'm just looking at the skills. Uh, this is a ranged dual wielding or two handed technique that activates off a default weapon attack. Uh, we don't ever use default weapon attacks. But the stats might be good. Uh, 5 to 6 elemental, 7% to all damage, 5% attack speed. Overguard. Assume a defensive stance that greatly boosts your combat awareness. You can only remain maintain the focus for a short duration. That's more of a defensive one. Stone vibrating with energy often left behind. Oh, it's uh, for... Uh, it's a partial component? That's weird. Wow, and that's freaking 11,000. That's a partial component. Partial. I don't, know if I, need, I don't think I want these partials yet. Rare partial. Oh, they, oh silver core bolts. Plus 40% to all damage. 7. Reduced targets. Defensive ability for 5 seconds. 5% 5 damage to Gothonics. Interesting. The Devil's Muskets. Actually more damage. Damn it. Fire. 97% fire damage. Holy shit. Granted skills. Arcane Blast. 25% chance when hit by melee. A surge of arcane energy erupts from you. Require level 35. So... I'm assuming, and uh, if anybody knows for sure, you can correct me, but do these items randomly generate? Oh, that This is the Quartermaster stuff. So are these items randomly generated, or are these the same all the time? It's all called the Devil's something, so I'm assuming it stays the same. It's all level 35, so we can't use it anyway. But I, if, it's, if, it's, if it's static... I was going to wait, but if it's not, I would maybe buy that gun to use later. Oh, fire proc can proc auto attack skills. Oh, okay. Well, that's much, that's much more alluring then. Uh, what is this one? At least a calculated volley of bullets. And it's a talisman, so it would actually replace the one we just got. I'll wait, but I might actually try that out. Oh, if I should do another tweet. Um, sure, I'll throw out another old tweet real quick. All right. Yeah, pretty much if I'm not reading, I'm trying to, or if I'm not talking, I'm trying to read the stream chat. Quartermaster items are all the same. I think the percentages can change, but the actual affixes will be the same. Okay, thank you, Avoxavana. Avox, there's no N in there. Avoxava. So yeah, I might actually come back. Uh, those are pretty interesting items. It's level 35 though. Which is fine. Uh, no, I don't. Um, as far as how long I'm going to stream, probably till at least eight. That's five hours. Holy shit, five hours! Those traps are a little slow. Ah, oh, we heard something. Let's let's try to find our way over there. God damn these one way. Who designed this map? Seriously. It's impossible to defend. I know, guys. I know. It's crazy. Uh, is there anything over there? That seems like an odd. Uh, nope. <laughs> Slowly rotate the camera back. You could probably change that speed. 
cat's still not in her bed. Damn, she must have just fed the cat. I smell cat food. <gasps> Dynamite! Damn it. I want to get over there. Uh, da, 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 I need to go. Oh, okay. All right, I got it with the camera again because it's messed with my head. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, hey, relax. Ooh, ain't that a bitch. I'm really glad they told me about that invulnerability skill. That is both useful and fun to use. The Journal of Duke Cavanil. 1750. Nice. I was like, why am I shooting at stuff? It's like, the hit was the enemy, it's not me. Oh god. I can't do that yet. Oh shit. It's not up yet. Yep, again. Those slower enemies. Nope. Get off the spikes. Get off them. Okay. It didn't trigger, so I must have not been on them. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Voxava confirmed the items are completely static. Cool. Attitude. Drag them over the spikes. I think they, I think they leashed. Nope, they did not. Whoa, goddamn. Yeah, sometimes you just take like a lot of damage. Oh, reset the camera to here. Nope, like that. Yeah, the maze is very real. Also, sup, Patrick. Yeah, definitely, like I say, I won't I won't harp on it because I already talked about it, but yeah, I don't I do not like that facet of the design of the maps. Yeah, these range guys are doing insane damage. Holy shit. Not ready. Like insane. Like way more than other ones. Are these like higher level? Eh, they're they're yellow. Boom! Well, you came around the corner at the wrong time. Let's put on my invulnerability. Get tired of their bullshit. Here. It's funny that these that the Granado can still like one shot a lot of these enemies that are like two to three levels higher. I mean, I know that guy wasn't full health, but still. And he was just a ranged guy, so he'll have less health. But damn it, stop picking apart what I said. Me. There's a big one. Tyrant, level 37. Nice. Because, yeah, her normal shots don't really do squat. I love freezing on mid swing. That way you can just move out of the way. And they uh, swing and hit nothing. Rebuff. I oh, got them. Again, you'd think I'd be used to seeing that aura by now. And it's like, hmm, something's not quite right. Oh, right around the corner. Dirty bastard. Yep, come on in. Yep. Now 
Nope. I was like, is he still alive? Negative. I love when they do some animation when aggroed, and that ends up getting them killed. Because like, ah, rawr, I'm super angry. Oh, God. I should have just attacked. The taunting was unnecessary and got me killed. That was a little bit overkill. Oh, right, my points. That's right. I forgot about that. All right. Um, so I could improve how good the sphere is, which would not be a terrible idea, or increase the canister bomb so that it's packing a bit more of a wallop, or improve our demolitionist level, because that would give us base stats and health and stuff, which is good, and open up stuff like the mortar trap and a thermite bomb. This just sounds nice. Drops a trio of small but deadly pyrotechnic charges that will see your enemies with intense jam jets of flame. That just sounds like fun. What does this one do? Ooh, yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, let's build up our demolitionist a bit. What's the highest you have to be to nine more for that? Wow. Only need two more for that. Hmm. Oh, and we also have devotion points. Or at least one. Wow, we have three. Holy shit. Cool. Uh, let's see. That was lightning damage. We want to start building up our fire damage, too, of course. <laughs> the dog. I wonder if this guy's a bounty hunter. Hmm. Guess we'll never know. Physique. Did we do the bat? No, vitality and bleeding. Nah. What was the other? We were started to do the green, green ones. Why are there no other green ones lit up? Like I can do stuff. Can I click on them? I want to see what this is. Affinity. The constellation line to five different affinities. Different constellations require different amounts. Blah, blah, blah. The hate. Let's see. Bright blue stars indicate where you can put a devotion point in next. Left click on a star to unlock. The halo stars mark the location of the celestial powers, which you can unlock to enhance your primary skills with new effects. We figured out some of that. Why do you have one in Tsunami and Imp? Uh, I wanted those for the lightning damage. Mostly. Oh, and the fire damage. That's right. Aether resistance. Eh. Small burst of aether fire ups at your target's feet. Yeah, I was really trying to work up my lightning damage, but it keeps giving me fire stuff now. But yeah, like only the green ones are actually lit, even though I. That thing's confusing as heck. Fuck. Because like these, I can see the ones I can put points into. What does this do? Acid and poison? No, definitely not that. That's flat offensive ability. Yeah, it's a mess because I don't honestly I don't want to sit here and like fuck with it for a long time and like figure out what build I want to do. I just kind of want to point, put points in and move on. That's why I don't really bother with it. Uh, that's why I just kind of put points in random shit. Uh, this is 15% fire damage. Crit damage. Ooh, that'd be kind of nice. 30% uh, offensive ability. Minus 10% cunning requirement for ranged weapons. 
that's odd because if you're using cunning, you probably don't really need to worry too much about cunning requirements, right? It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Elemental resistance is always nice. 24%, oh wow, 24% elemental damage. Yeah, let's just do this. Like I say, obviously I don't pay too much attention to what we put points into. Because I just want to do it. Like in a game like this, I typically like, I want to go blow shit up. I don't really want to fiddle with inventory and stuff like that. That's like one of my things with Neo. Like if, if I could change one thing about Neo, I'd get rid of the like Borderlands, uh, like uh, Diablo style loot. I really hated the way they did loot in Neo. Cause I felt like I was constantly having to stop doing the fun stuff, which was fighting and like fiddling around with inventory and messing with, uh, messing with the blacksmith and playing, praying on RNG. I'm like, uh, like I just want to go make shit dead. I don't want to spend an hour and like a, a, ca a character calculator to figure out how I'm supposed to build this shit. That's why I like for the games like this, I'm cool with like playing the campaign, like just doing the campaign the one time, because typically in games like this, even if you play it a little bit harder difficulty, you don't have to worry about it too much. Like I can willy nilly my points as I have been. And it's not going to like screw me over. It's not going to be optimal, but it's not like, well, you can't beat the game now because you didn't do things completely optimally. And that, but if you want to go through a harder difficulty, you do need to do stuff like that, which is fine. But that's when I lose interest. That's why I like, even though I like playing Borderlands, like I'd consider Borderlands for a stream game too. I just don't like the stopping and looking at the loot and going, okay, is this better? Is this worse? It's like, where are you going? You ran on the other side of the wall where you couldn't shoot me. Love that invulnerability. Yeah, the cat's super interested in your person food until she's not. Until she really sees it, then she's like, oh, I don't care anymore. Because out of the nine times she doesn't want what you're eating, there's that one time out of ten where she's like, oh, yes, you need to give me some of that. Oh. Is that purple? Come on. Come over here. A little easier time of fighting over here. Yeah, I figured he'd be too big to freeze. I'm guessing maybe at... I don't know if the... Uh, whoops, did not mean to do that. All right, this is not a great place to fight in. I'm trying to find a more open-ish area. I can't do that yet. Your mom can't do that yet. Yeah, get stuck over there. Works for me. A bomb to the face. See my vulnerabilities back up. All right. Get over here, stupid. I can't do that yet. Is I think his melee hits also uh, slow, or something he's doing also slows. Oh, nice. Yeah, dynamite. Ooh, leg plates of valor. Uh, 344 hours. Wow. Into Grim Dawn. I could definitely see it. I mean, I believe, and back in the day, too, like I put tons of time into Diablo. Uh, Diablo 2 in particular. Uh, Diablo 3 when it came out is probably when I put the most time into it. But that was partially because before I realized that I really wasn't crazy about it. The way they did loot and stuff ended up being fairly disappointing. But absolute credit to 